heaven, on earth. The world's philosophy seems to be he who dies with the most toys wins. If your sole personal philosophy is to acquire as many possessions as possible with the idea that, that will make you content, then I am afraid you will find life disappointing. Having lived in some of the most beautiful areas in America, Oahu in Hawaii, the Laurel Highlands in the Appalachian Mountains, the Barrier Islands off of NC's coast, and now on a beautiful farm in Kentucky, none are or have been as fulfilling as living in heaven on earth. Heaven on earth is not a location you can drive to, it is a place within you. When you are able to see yourself as exactly the way God wants you to be, physically, mentally, and spiritually, you will begin to glimpse heaven on earth. God has a plan and purpose for your life, and he created you exactly the way you need to be to fulfill his purposes. Jesus tells us that we are to live free as a sparrow, not given to worry or fretting. Luke 12 colon 7 And the very hairs on your head are all numbered. So, don't be afraid, you are more valuable to him than a whole flock of sparrows. Enjoyment and heavenly happiness come when we share the love and forgiveness given to us by the God of love, with others. Jesus illustrates this truth in a narrative found in Matthew 25 30 40, as the King of Kings, during the final judgment, he addressed a group who had found their way to heaven on earth with this, as he answered their query about the route they had taken. The king will say to those on the right, Come, you who are blessed by my father. For I was hungry, and you fed me. I was thirsty, and you gave me a drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me into your home. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you cared for me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Then these righteous ones will reply, Lord, when did we do these things? And the king will tell them, I assure you, when you did it to one of the least of these my brothers and sisters, you were doing it to me. They had chosen to serve others rather than themselves, thereby finding the way to heaven on earth.